Are you feeding your faith the voice of fear or the voice of faith? You know, you can't be a Christian without being a believer. Remember the words of Jesus in John 3, 16, he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes shall not perish but have eternal life. Now, I know that belief is an interesting concept because sometimes, you know, there's days when we're filled with faith and there's other days when we're a little bit doubtful. There's always ways to grow your faith. I love the Word of God in Romans 10, 17. It says, so faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. In other words, if you want more faith, you've got to get your face into the Word of God. If you want more faith, if you want to grow your faith, you have to feed your faith. But the problem is we oftentimes feed our fears. And so that mountain stands in front of us. It's critical for the man, for the woman of God, because our faith can do what our flesh cannot. You're not going to be a champion in the faith if you only hear the Word of God every Sunday for 45 minutes. you got to learn to feed yourself the Word of God. You grow your faith by watering it with the holy written Word of God and you watch your faith grow.